Good morning, my dear student. On the behalf of KTM College Nasik and Department of Chemistry of this college, I am Dr. S. R. Labde. Welcomes you to the lecture on polarographic analysis. Student, in previous ten lecture we discuss what is voltammetry, principle of voltammetric analysis, electrode system we employ in voltammetric analysis. In addition to this, we discuss what is polarography. principle of polarographic analysis electrode system employed in polarographic analysis we also discuss the construction working advantages and disadvantages of dropping mercury electrode which is used as a working electrode in polarographic analysis we also discuss the instrumentation of polarography and working of polarography furthermore we discuss the results obtained in polarographic analysis that is polarogram and its application in qualitative and quantitative analysis of electroactive species furthermore we discuss the factors affecting the nature of polarographic wave we also solve numericals based on calculation of diffusion current calculation of diffusion coefficient calculation of concentration of electroactive species and calculation of number of electron involved in redox reaction after this we discuss the different applications of polarography that is qualitative as well as quantitative applications and we discuss the polarographic titration and types of polarographic titration and their applications student in today's lecture we discuss some questions and their answers for preparation of university examination first question what is polarography what is polarography polarography is a linear scan linear potential scan scan voltammetric method voltammetric method of qualitative and quantitative analysis of qualitative quantitative analysis performed performed in a poison analyte solution using polarized dropping mercury dropping mercury working electrode and and non polarized non polarized pool of mercury as a counter electrode polarography that is the first invention of voltammetric method polarography is a linear potential scan voltammetric method perform method of qualitative and quantitative analysis perform in a poison analyte solution using polarized dropping mercury electrode as a working electrode and non polarized pool of mercury as a counter electrode that means both working electrode as well as counter electrode in polarography are the mercury electrode next question we discuss the principle of explain the principle of second question explain the principle of polarography principle of polarography Polarography is a 
polarography is a linear potential scan potential scan voltammetric voltammetric method of qualitative and quantitative analysis in which in which an analyte solution analyte solution is made a part of electrolysis cell the analyte solution is electrolyzed using linear potential range after electrolysis after electrolysis a graph of cathodic current obtained because of reduction of analyte versus applied emf tells us applied emf gives gives half wave potential potential and diffusion current which tells us tells us what is in the solution means qualitative analysis and and how much it is means a quantitative analysis in this way both qualitative and quantitative analysis is performed a la polarography and you have to show this result in the form of polarogram and that is like this here a reduction current in microampere versus emf in milli volt gives a polarogram a step step curve showing residual current and limiting current this is a id directly proportional to concentration of analyte and at half of the diffusion current e1 half is the identity identity of the analyte in this way here you can show the result of polarographic analysis this is a limiting current and here this is a complete principle of polarographic analysis what are the linear scan linear scan voltammetric method
What are the linear scan voltammetric method? First of all, you have to explain what are what is linear scan voltammetry, and after that, you have to give the types of linear scan voltammetric method. Therefore, here answer of this question: the linear scan, the linear scan voltammetric voltammetry are those voltammetric method method in which the potential of the potential of working electrode working electrode is scanned either to positive direction positive direction or to negative direction direction in order to carry out to carry out oxidation or reduction or reduction of an analyte on to the working electrode therefore linear scan voltammetry are those voltammetric methods in which the potential of working electrode is scanned that is increased linearly either to positive direction where oxidation takes place or either to negative direction where reduction takes place on the working electrode and here the voltammetric method in which potential is linearly scanned are of two type and those are like this two types of linear scan voltammetry voltammetry first one is a polarography we know that it is a linear potential scan voltammetry in which working electrode is dropping mercury electrode and perform in a quiescent analyte solution therefore perform in a quiescent analyte solution solution using dropping mercury electrode as a working electrode and second voltammetric method in which potential is linear scan that is called as hydrodynamic voltammetry hydrodynamic voltammetry this is a voltammetric method in which metry here it is performed in a analyte solution which is continuously in motion therefore perform in a analyte solution which is which is continuously in motion in motion and it is performed by using using a stationary electrode like stationary electrode like platinum gold graphite or silver etc therefore in this case polarography is a linear potential scan voltammetry performing a quiescent analyte solution hydrodynamic voltammetry is a linear scan voltammetry but it is performed in a analyte solution 
which is continuously in motion. One may ask, what is the what are the linear scan voltammetry and differentiate between polarography and hydrodynamic voltammetry? The main difference in polarography and hydrodynamic voltammetry: polarography is performed in a quiescent analyte solution, and hydrodynamic voltammetry is performed in a solution which is continuously in motion. This is the basic difference in polarography and voltammetry. In polarography, analyte solution or analyte species are transported to the electrode surface by diffusion phenomenon. While here in hydrodynamic voltammetry, analyte species are transported to the electrode surface by convection phenomenon. That means solution is continuously stirred and analyte species are transported by mechanical means, means a convection phenomenon. Therefore, convection current is measured in voltammetry and diffusion current is measured in polarography. This is the basic difference between the voltammetry and polar, sorry, polarography and hydrodynamic voltammetry. Student, the next question that is related with working electrode and question is like this. What is the potential range? What is question number four? What is the potential range in which in which DME is used as working electrode for polarographic analysis? What is the potential range? We know that working electrode in polarography or in a voltammetry is a microelectrode. Microelectrode means dimension of these electrodes are very small. It ranges few square millimeter and therefore with application of small linearly increasing potential, these electrodes are get easily polarized. But therefore here, the potential range in which that act as a working electrode in case of dropping mercury electrode that is plus 0.4 volt to minus 1.8 volt. Therefore, first of all, we discuss working electrode. The working electrode in polarography is a dropping mercury electrode in which in which a small spherical spherical mercury drop mercury drop having area having area of 0.05 square millimeter is generated is generated on the tip of capillary which is which is hang in the body of solution body of analyte solution and act as a site for reduction reaction site for reduction reaction therefore one may ask you what is working electrode in polarography therefore you have to write the answer working electrode in polarography is dropping mercury electrode in which a small spherical drop of mercury having area about 0.05 millimeter sphere is generated on the tip of the capillary which is hanged in the body of analyte solution and act as a site for redox reaction or reduction reaction. Therefore here the potential range in which this DME is used as a working electrode the potential range, potential range in which 
DME DME is best working electrode electrode is plus 0 0.40 volt versus plus 0 0.40 volt to minus 1.8 volt versus saturated calorie electrode. This is a potential range in aqueous medium. If medium is changed, sometimes range may be changed. In previous lecture we discussed this range plus 0.4 to minus 2.4 volt that will be vary on the basis of the medium. That is whether it is aqueous medium or a some organic solvent containing medium. Therefore, here in aqueous medium, the potential range is this. When potential is greater than potential is more positive than more positive than plus 0.4 volt then oxidation of oxidation of mercury mercury takes place and here the metallic mercury is get converted sorry metallic mercury is get converted to mercurous ion therefore this is a oxidation therefore here Potential range being more positive than this, electrode itself undergo oxidation. Therefore, it does not increase potential more than plus 0.4 volt in case of DME. Similarly, when potential is more negative than 1.8 volt, then when potential is more negative than minus 1.8 volt versus saturated calorie electrode, then the electrolysis of water takes place. Electrolysis of water takes place, place. and a hydrogen gas is generated is generated at DME. Therefore here twice H plus plus two electron. This is a reduction that gives H2 gas. And therefore this reduction takes place when potential is more negative than this. Therefore only this is a potential rate in which we can use is dropping mercury electrode as a working electrode.